This is how to draw Kiwi shoe polish design uh, using Corridor. First, we need to draw a circle like this uh, using this tool called Ellipse Tool. Draw a circle ellipse tool by dragging uh, in the drawing window. Now, after doing this one, you will got to come here and increase the outline here. In this outline here, just increase the the bigger the, uh, the thickness up to 10 feet uh, then once you increase the outline like that now you can come here you put now the color that you want here we have various color for this one you can just come click there and now choose for example this one you can choose the black uh, side and the outline here you can come choose a different color for example let me choose that one the deep yellow for this one uh, I can come and choose that one. I need to right click so that I can choose that uh, color. In this case, once I draw the, like this, now I can make a copy of this one. Just go to edit. Uh, you just uh, click edit, you click or copy, and you click paste. Automatically, you can see there will be two of them, those two objects. In this case, you need to come here. Uh, one of these one you require to put uh now you can put a uh, red as you put red and now you can choose another tool here you can come here and, uh, and uh, this uh, crop tool choose knife once you choose knife you just come in this quadrant you just click there and now come you click at the head there to cut into two pieces once you cut into two pieces you just come and delete come and delete this uh, one of the side and we end up getting these two sides as you can see here we have two shapes one which is complete and one which is half just with this shape now uh, you can come here you choose this tool called shape tool once you choose this shape tool uh, then you need to click here at the center and under property window just choose convert to curve uh, just come uh, pick one of this point here and shape it like that up to there the other one you can shape it up to there just in a precise way uh, then don't forget go back to another tool here this for the freehand drop down choose polyline uh, you can come here you click the color that you want to deal with I need to do the same same color deep uh, deep yellow here, uh, deep yellow here. That's a, the the one I want to come here. Now use that one. Once I click there, automatically now I can come here and I start drawing my design like that. Just with the polyline, you need to click only the point that you want, not by dragging. Just click the point that you want like that one. You can come here, you, you, check, the, you check the card that you want there. And then you can start shaping. Use the shape tool. And now after using the shape tool, you can start coming here and start converting to curve. Uh, just drag like that one. Try to resize a bit so that you can see at least it's real precisely. Uh, precise uh, click there you convert to convert that one to curve like that and once you convert to curve like that now you can come now you try to resize a bit like that and now you can require to increase the outline here the outline and now the outline 10 feet and now come to here and click the color, the, the, this color led here. That is how you end up getting this drawing. So you can see once you get that design up to there, you can go to polyline again. And now with this polyline, uh, you need to come here. You can try to zoom it a bit and start drawing uh, your small bird here. Just go to pick where you want only, like that. 
and start now drawing a simple drawing like this. It is a simple way of drawing. What you require is to be a very attentive in this so that you can end up getting a simple drawing the no minute. Once you are through there, you can just come here, click shape tool again. With the shape tool, click there, convert to curve, and now drag a bit up. Come here, convert to curve, and do the same. Shape it like that. Do the same. And shape it like that. Once you shape like that, until you see it look nice, then click there and just drag a little bit like that. As you can see now, it is how it looks like, and you can try not to do it at least precisely good uh, like that in a very easy way you get that kind of a drawing now with that kind of a drawing what you need to do is just try to resize a bit up to there and put it there once you put it there, you can come here and put black like that. And then you need to copy to have a, a to copy. Just click edit, copy, edit, paste. And using corridor, you can place plus sign to copy paste while drawing. Don't forget that. Or else you just go to edit copy or edit paste or control c control paste for control v for paste uh, then you put white like that one and now try to drag it a little bit as you can see here it is having a kind of a shadow as you can see here it is having that kind of a shape there are two of them as you can see uh, but once you try to drag it it seems to be like one and hang here now make sure that bad bad have an eye like that one and now you can come here you put like that once you are doing that one then you can come here uh, you can come uh, here in this uh, ellipse you draw that kind of a shape like that once you draw like that one click text tool and click here and start typing kiwi once you type kiwi what you do require to do is just try to adjust a little bit uh, to a precise size you can change the font to one that you want maybe for example I need that one or this one just try to put it like that one and uh, in this case, uh, they will then they need to put that kind of a font. And now I can come here. Uh, I just got to come here and try to put in a very precise way to have a good curve. Now I highlight all of them like that, two of them. Once I highlight both of them and that text tool, the text menu, sorry, I beg a pardon. And the text, click feed text to path. You go to text, feed text to path, and now you can see how it have fitted into that path. And our range, don't forget to break text apart. Once you break, now once you click, you see now it you have two shapes just delete that one and you end up getting now the the key which is in curve just come you put it like that one and try to put it just 
click again and try to, to just to rotate like that one and now put where it belongs somewhere there once you put it like that now you can have a copy of it i just have a copy of it to be two of them and now you put white once you put white you can try to just adjust a bit and you can see here we have now that kind of a uh, word with a shape just click outside and now with that one you can come here and you write your content uh, uh, that is a uh, quality you can just write quality show polish and once you write quality show polish you can put now the the color that you want and try to little bit adjust so that it can be you can put there uh, with that one now you can just come here and now put a different font as you see which maybe you come up to bring a kind of a kind of a design that you want kind of design that you want for example like that as you can see now how it look like you can just come you end up designing something like that and with that one you can still have another design whereby you can put uh, two of them so it means you can just come you copy and you end up paste now with those two of them here you can come here one of it you put example color white like that and maybe you can try to increase a bit of uh, outline and now you can put that one you can put this one out there try put it somewhere the sand it is where it is more or well visible there as you can see you can just come here then you write uh, since 1906 and once you write like that one now you can put the color you want uh, but in this case you put white as you put white you can come and put it there to resize a bit to be smaller and now you can click and drag it a little bit there try to rotate to look like that uh, from there you can come here and now it uh, that is the one hundred ml hundred ml is somewhere there and put example I can just put uh, that one just put the preferred color for that one now once i put now the preferred color that they want in this case you can come i change the font to a different one i want for example i need that one I try to do some kind of a small rotation you just pull like that one there then you can do it again I write 80 grams 
now I can just do the same and I put it somewhere there you put the color the, uh, the same then you come and put like that one then just click annotate a bit as you can see that is how you can design a simple design for kiwi shoe polish in a very simple manner and a very smart design for that as you can see the very smart design you can design within few few minutes and you end up getting the simple design thank you as you design for more designs that is a kiwi shoe polish bland design Thank you as we look for more designs. Continue subscribing for tutorial downloads to get more designs and will be helpful to you.